Hey guys, Mitiki here, and today we are doing uh we're doing a video on Craig farming. Now then this ain't gonna be your usual oh go to the index, go to a dark sector, go to a railjack mission, or fight the profit taker orb or whatever. Now we're gonna go to a mission that I have not really seen talk much about about credit farming. Now you're gonna need to get to Neptune first, so this is not really too early to get to, but it ain't that hard to get to Neptune, honestly. Just complete your missions and whatever. Now, like I said before, we're not doing the index because the index, sure, it's a good way to farm some credits, but this other method actually could possibly give you more than the index itself. So it's this disruption mission right here. Lao Me Media or whatever. I don't know. Some of these locations are a little hard to say. Directly. Anyways. We're just gonna go there. And. Yeah, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, right here on the screen, I'm actually gonna show the drop tables. And as you can see on the drop tables. The credit cash for drop A is 20,000. For B is 30,000. And C is 50,000. Or Universal Medallion, which, sure, that's good, but... I personally would rather have the 50,000 credit medallion. The 50,000 credit cash, not medallion. But yeah, this is actually very, very good way to farm some credits in a short amount of time. I got 400,000 in 20 minutes. And to be honest, I haven't done the index in a while, so I'm not sure if the index could give you more. I will probably do a video on the index too, eventually. But, yeah, this is a decent way to get some credits in somewhat early game. Well, I call this early to mid game. Once you get the sealed path, I'd say you're late game. But if you don't know how to do disruption missions, just fight the enemies until you get these keys, put it in there, and then you gotta look for these annoying dudes that will have a lot more health. And they will destroy the conduit and you won't get the rewards. So basically the way this works is you need to get... Uh, you need to get as much of these conduits defended as possible. Preferably all of them. And once you do that, you should be... You should be fine. Waiting for that demolition unit to show up. Okay, there we go. Sometimes the marker doesn't mark him right away. So you're also gonna need to hear for that loud beeping. Luckily, I have a weapon that would one tap him. So. Basically, a rule of thumb with disruption missions is you're gonna want to have like a really good frame or weapon that will be able to take down the demolition units really, really quickly. Otherwise, they're probably going to destroy all the conduits and you're probably going to lose. Here's the next demolition unit. And three, two, one, one tap. I might cover Latron... Prime incarnate form. Eventually. Honestly, I might do it tomorrow. Cover the weapon, because as of right now, you're able to get it. Be 
I missed. As you see, we got 30,000 credits, which isn't too bad, especially for four minutes. Pretty sure the index might take a bit longer unless you really are really proficient at it. Uh, otherwise, I say this is probably one of the best credit farms in the game. Also because you get a huge boost in credits at the end of the mission. At least I did. I got double the amount of credits. So let's go to the end of the mission. We'll see if that was actually true. That I actually got double the credits. Because I remember only getting 20,000 within the mission last time. And then I got 400,000 the last time. Let's see. Check, check, ejecting. Yeah, see, we get double the credits. That's That's honestly really good. So maybe it does double, which is really good. I'm not completely sure. I am no expert on this game still. But yeah. That's going to do it for this video, guys. So hopefully you guys will try out the mission. Get as far as you can. And start get farming up those credits. So you can do whatever you want with them. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.